Now here, I'm going to have x minus 1 all squared. I will transpose this to the left hand side. I'm going to be having this, then equals 0. So now looking at this, this is like difference of two squares. Let me remove this so that you can see it clearly. So this is difference of two squares, right? So now the next thing we're going to do, we take this as a and we take only x as b. So when you have a square minus b squared, you're going to have a minus b, then in the parentheses, then x a minus b or, or a plus b. That is difference of two squares. So here we're going to have x minus 1. Taking this negative first, we have what we have x. Then we have x minus 1. Okay, taking the positive now, x, then equals 0. So now we have this. So it's to simplify this inside the parentheses, you know, further before equating the two, you know, equations to 0. So we're going to have x minus you can see x minus x here so this will give this will give zero so we're going to have only minus one inside this parenthesis and then to the second one x plus x we have two what two x minus one equals zero so now when you look at this here you can see that uh, we have minus one here and two x minus one equals zero i mean minus one can never be zero minus one minus one cannot be zero so the only one that can be 0 is 2x minus 1 equals 0. How are you getting it now? So now from here, so we can see we have 2x equals, transpose this to the right hand side, we have this, then divide both sides by 2. This we cancel this, we have x to be what? x to be 1 over 2. So we have x to be 1 over 2. So x equals 1 over 2 is the what? Is the solution to the problem here. And you can see that this problem is just one value problem one value problem initially you can be tempted because we are having power two so you think uh, this should be uh, quadratic you should have two you know solutions but at the end of the day one uh one got terminated okay so that one got eliminated let me say that so and we got the other one so we have one over two to be the only solution to this problem so now you can check okay if you want to do the checking to do the checking now you know that here you can put one over if you put one over two here one over two minus one you're going to have minus one over two all squared are you getting it now so equals we have here one over two all squared so now minus one raised to power 2, we're going to have 1. 2 raised to power 2, that will be 4. The same thing here, 1 over what? 1 over 4. So you can see that this equation satisfy the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. So what are you waiting for? For those of you that have not shared, I believe you have shared. Make sure you share, right? Then like, follow our Facebook page for more exciting videos, okay? If you enjoyed this, please and please follow our Facebook page so that you can see or enjoy more of our mathematics uh, classes. All right. Thank you.